I'm here today showing you guys how to use a mix bag to create a look that's inspired by the new movie that's coming out by Quentin Tarantino. Um, I honestly cannot remember the title of it. I had once, to have once upon, a once upon a Time in Hollywood or Once Upon a Hollywood, something like that. I remembered it. I just kind of looked at the color scheme and watched the trailer. It looks really cool. I think it'll be neat. So I'm doing a really cute color. I'm doing like a cream orange. This is by C&D Creative Play and this is called Hold On Bright. So there we go, Instagram, yeah. sorry about that. So Hold On Bright, it's a cute, I don't know, it's a cute color. I think it'll look really good with the turquoise on top. I think it matches pretty well with the theme. Um, so we're going to get started here. The first thing I'm going to do is I have my nail prepared. This has an inhibition layer on it for gel product. Bye, Lisa. Bye. And what you're going to do here, if this was your gel polish, is you just go ahead and apply this immediately. This is your Glitz Glue Gel in the condensed version. And then... Bye, Lily. Bye, babe. Um... What you're going to do if you're doing this on liquid and powder, you're doing this on your dipping product, is if you're doing this on dipping or liquid and powder, what you're going to do is put a base coat and cure that for 15 seconds. The reason you want to put a base coat and cure for 15 seconds is because this is going to stick a lot better to the base coat than it is to the surface of your acrylic or your dipping. Okay, it's not porous enough and it's not very tacky. So you want to make sure you do that first. And then this will stick really, really well. It's actually gonna melt into that. And then after you do this step, you're gonna to top coat. So I'll show you that sequence of steps right now. Give me one second. I just wanna zoom in a little bit for you, Instagram. There we go. So we don't have that big white line there. Okay. So this actually has quite a bit of glue gel in it. This is one of the newer pots that we've opened. You can see what that looks like in there. It's really thick. It's not just gonna come pouring out. As you can see, I literally can like dump it over and shake it and nothing's gonna come out. It really takes quite a lot of force in order for you to do that. Like you'd have to drop it on the ground or something for it to come flying out. Um, my recommendation during the summer months is please don't leave this in your car. If you leave this in your car, it's just gonna get all gross and goopy and be too thick and stringy and it's not gonna work very well. So you always wanna make sure you're recapping it and you're not leaving that in your vehicle. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to the surface of my nail that I have prepared here for you guys. Nancy just stepped in. Hey, Nancy. Hey. So I'm just gonna take a generous amount of my glue gel. You can see here how much I have on the brush. And then I'm just going to brush that down the length of the nail before I put my top coat on, right? And after you put your top coat on, you're actually not gonna cure yet. You're gonna put your crystals on after that. And I think you guys will like the mixed bags. I think they give you a lot of variety. And we have how many different, 10 different ones, Nancy? Mix mix bags? Bags? Yeah. Yeah. 10 different one and then every um, seasons we have a different Nancy puts a different bag. one, yeah. Yes. Right now we have 4th of July out still. But we'll be changing that soon to something that's more fall related eventually. Probably when school starts back. So as you guys can see, this is my non-wipe gel top coat here. This is just our Glitz non-wipe gel top coat. And what you're gonna do is you're going to apply that directly to the surface of the nail that you just prepared with your condensed glue gel. And you're just gonna float this down the surface of that by gently tapping and dragging. And you don't wanna put too much pressure. You just wanna lightly tap it and drag it down. And I'm flipping the brush over so that I don't have to go get more top coat because I'm sure that I have plenty on this brush. Okay, now I have a lot of time to go. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Nancy's trying to say hi to all of you and she's having a hard time. So after you do that, guys, I want you to lightly run your fingers down the side of the nail and I want you to do that at least two or three times just to make sure that you have any built up excess that slides down the sides of the nail so that it's not too bulky from the fact that you're using a gel product, okay? Then I'm going to get my crystal picker. So my crystal picker looks like it does have a dotting tool at the end of it. 
This is my wax picking end. This is my dotting tool end. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply my crystals in a way where I think it's gonna look appealing on the nail. Really looks good. Oh, thank you. That's two, the combination of two colors looks really good. I really, I love that contrast, honestly. And I think that this will look really pretty. There we go. That looks really good. Then I'm gonna put a little one right down here at the bottom. I already had this idea kind of like in my head. I think we should do like a big one at the top too. You guys see that? Am I off of camera at all? That's good. I don't think so. Thank you, Claus. I appreciate that. You said off camera? Yeah, she fixed it. I mean, I fixed it, though. Wait. There we go. Perfect. Okay, well, you want to be upside down? That's fine. I can stick it on upside down. I don't care. I'm just trying to argue with me, guys. But you can't argue with me. I always win. Right. At least that's what Nancy taught me. You know, make sure if you're gonna have an argument, you always win. <laughs> <laughs> Apply for some circumstances. Applies for some circumstances. Not all. She's not. She's not guaranteeing your victory every time. Um, I like to put a crystal at the end of the wires because I feel like. It keeps it from being too scratchy. Plus, I think it looks pretty cute. I like doing that. We'll put a little ball there too, a little kind of offset it a little bit. Are you sharing for me, Nancy? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Jenny, for sharing with us. I guess, I don't know, it's when what is this upside down? It looks like upside down on the other side too. It looks like I'm it's upside it. down, but that's because it's facing you. It's not facing me. Yeah. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, now it looks better. Yeah. There we go. There you go. It makes more sense now. Wait. Yeah, perfect wait now, Nancy. Yeah. No. It's going down. Yes. Right, so we just have the new mounting this way. It's so confusing. How could you? But I think it's, you guys can see it all. Instagram, oh, that way. Right there? Yes. Is that better? That is better, yeah. Can we move this? I think this kind of fits the feel of like the old school Hollywood. It's supposed to be Hollywood in like the 60s or something. Yeah, so I, I feel like this color scheme is working pretty well for us. That looks good now. Perfect. Yeah, I like this a lot. I think that's really cute. I don't think we need to go too crazy because they were like kind of all about minimalist style too. I'm gonna add a little Hi, ball Instagram. right here Thank though. Thank you everyone for tuning in oh. tonight. Yes, we appreciate oh, you. Oops, sorry Jenny. Oh, I really like I'm this. To... I really like this, Nancy. Because I always so do, do something I, I like, but I'm just saying, like, this one, I really like. Okay, now I need stylus. Uh-oh, what'd you do? No, she was just waving back to everyone. What is stylus here? Should be one over by my desk, Nancy, in my cup. Is it the yellow one? Uh, orange-ish orange. colored. One of them is mine, and one of them is Shy's, I think. There you go, so fancy. There we go. Ooh. Look, I really like this, guys. I'm going to leave it right here. I think this is gorgeous. I'm going to pop this in the lamp. OK? 
Okay, I'm just gonna make sure that it's straight on because I can see my marquee is just a little bit cockeyed. Wow. Yeah, and then I'm gonna pop it in the lamp and you just put this in the lamp for 60 seconds and then it's good. And then we'll go around with our precision pen and we'll move on to our next nail. I really like this a lot, you guys. So I've got one more orange like this. I really like this cream orange with the turquoise. And honestly, if you look at the, what is that? Like the, I'm sorry, my lamp is not going and it kind of threw me off a little bit. There we go. So if you look at the movie poster, it's like a sunset with Leonardo DiCaprio and who else is in the movie, Nancy? I don't know what movie you're talking about. Uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Oh. I think that's the name of the movie. Um, but no. it's it's one of it's Quentin Tarantino's films. Him. So it's uh, his ninth movie. Hugh told me, this is Nancy's husband, that he's going to make ten movies before he retires. So the fact that this is his ninth movie, this is his second to last. So it's supposed to be a big deal. I don't know. He told me about it. I, it seems kind of good. I watched the trailer. It's pretty interesting. But I think this fits this the color scheme pretty well. It's coming out today? It comes out this weekend, I think. Mm. But it's supposed to beat Lion King. We've been doing a lot of movies recently, guys. Do you, if you have any suggestions, feel free to post them in Crystal Nail Obsession because there's a lot of stuff that we don't necessarily do or see because we don't think about it. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is that since I have everything the way that I want it to be on my nail... I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my precision pen. Now, this is an older pen because in the entirety of doing videos here, which has been about a year of doing videos, um, yeah. we just haven't needed to switch it. Like, we've used two. So, here's what a brand new one looks like. This one is about a, almost nine months old. So, but what you guys want to do, you got it? Here. There you I'll go. Put a second. You're fine. Yeah. So I'm going to take this off. You can see there's a little red lid here. And what you guys want to do is you want to make sure you don't throw this away. You actually do want to keep that because it keeps everything inside of the pin as well as making sure that nothing gets stuck in there. It's not like coming apart. So right here, I don't really need to do any glue gel, but I am going to feel around everywhere and make sure that I don't need to do any. So I'm gonna go over my metal ball because I always do that. I'm sorry, I'm off video. I'm gonna go around my metal ball because I always do that. I just wanna make sure that everything is nice and secure in there. And then everything else I'll just go around, especially on any little areas where I feel like it needs it. So if you Maybe feel you right before here? you fill, you're gonna feel that. Right in the hand right here. Okay. There. That, perfect. And I'm just going to go all in this little area here because I can tell that I should. One upon a time. Once upon a time in Hollywood. Yeah. So it's Leonardo DiCaprio oh. and who else? Um, Brad Pitt? Brad Pitt. Yes. That's who it was. Okay. I knew it was somebody. So when you're doing this, guys, I have a little bit of gel on me. In Hollywood. Same thing, you want to go down the sides just in case you missed anything. And then what I like to do is take my twin tip brush, which Nancy stole from me. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. And then I'm going to wipe it off with a paper towel. And now that I've got it like that, I'm going to make sure I don't have any edges here that I don't need to go back over. So I'm going to... Blend this out a little bit, and then I'll cure it for 60 seconds because I don't want there to be any lumpy or bumpy edges, but I do want to make sure that everything is nice and covered, okay? So same thing right here, same thing, especially around my little metal balls where I've added my glue gel because you don't want it to look, like I said, really lumpy and just not put together. So right here, brush it out, right here, brush it out, and then anything else, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to re-top coat that because I want to make sure that everything 
is non-tacky. And when you're brushing this out like this, it's gonna have a slightly tacky feel and it's not, it's not what you want. You want it to be completely tack free. So if you're doing this step here, which you won't always have to do, but if you are doing this step, you just wanna make sure that everything is nice and flat. Okay, and then I'm gonna pop this back into the lamp for 60 seconds. It's been a huge part of your nail art routine. That's because it's so freaking awesome, right? Like it's, that's your essential. There we go. Was that 60 seconds, Nancy? 60. Okay. That's what you want, right? Yep. So as earlier I said, recap everything, that's including your brush, because if this is anywhere near your LED light, it's gonna cure your brush because your brush is still full of glue gel. Okay, guys? And then same thing for this here. You're going to go ahead and if you put your finger against the needle, it's a little easier to get it in. Recap, recap, right? I'm glad, Gina, I'm really glad. And I'm happy that we got to see you in Gatlinburg. I hope that we saw you when I wasn't on break for my short 15 minutes <laughs> where I walked around. <laughs> I missed a few people. I was there with Brad and Vicky and Nancy. Kyle. We had so many people on our team that day. Hey, Elegant Nails by Jeannie. How are you, sweetie? Okay, now that I have this done, I am gonna go ahead and top coat one last time just to make sure that everything is nice and glossy, like I said earlier, and then we will go on to our next nail. So you can see I'm just lightly going in here. I don't wanna touch my crystal, so as you can tell, I'm kind of like going over the edge of my larger stone that's on the top here with my little turquoise and then around Ooh, everything like else. I know, Nancy, it's so freaking pretty, right? Jenny, why so fancy, Jenny? I really like this one. So guys, just like I said, make sure you're not going over anything else. And I'm just brushing in the little cracks, but I'm not actually going over my crystals. There's plenty of top coat on my nails to be doing this. I really don't have to add much more to my brush. And then I'm gonna go right in here, same reason. Just do not go over the top of your crystals, guys. There we go. I'm just gonna make sure I got this nice and brushed out. I don't want it to be too thick right there. This mounting is so much better, huh? Yeah, I really like, I like it. it we have new mounting for our live videos, guys, and I'll tell you right now, it's changed the game. It's just really, really hard for me to do live videos where I'm like struggling with the camera being right in my way. And this way, it's not, it's not in my way at all. It's perfectly fine. Give a lot of credit to Jenny. She's so dedicated from the day one when she's joined the teams and never had have any doubt about glitter Cecily and such. And we were lucky to have her and also with a lot of other um A lot of people on our teams, yeah. yeah. So it's really nice and it's so great to have really a good to go, um, yeah, especially to go places, like meeting Brad, that was awesome. I love yeah. that. Like, we're really good friends because of that, and I wouldn't know him or any of my other team members if it if it wasn't for Glitz. Like, it's a really good way to just connect with your fellow nail person, too. Like, that's what I call all of us nail techs, mm -hmm. our nail, nail persons. Because it's different. Nail artists. Yeah, our nail artist, our little artist group. There we go. So now that I've done that, guys, I will go ahead and get started on our second nail while we wait for that one to cure. Oops, my top, my top came off, my top coat. There we go. My top came off. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and same thing, in case you missed it earlier, I have my nail tip prepared here. I do have two coats of Creative 
play CND Polish Hold On Bright. That's the name of it. And then if I was doing this on liquid and powder or I was doing this on my dipping product, I would use a base coat and cure that for 15 seconds. And then I'm gonna go in with my Glitz Glue Gel Condensed. And this product is really freaking awesome. After I get that on the surface of my nail, then I'm gonna go over the top of that with my top coat and that's going to allow everything to kind of melt together and then I don't have to re-top coat after that. It'll just be nice and perfect um, unless there's like an issue that you saw in the last nail where I have a lot of metal frame like high up and so then I have to go around with, with my precision. So if I'm having to go around with my precision and blend it out, then I will actually go ahead and re-top coat but I'm gonna see if this time we don't have to. How about that? So you can see I've been placing my nail tools right next to me, it's great. I really love all these mixed bags too because like Nancy is saying, we ha do have 10 of them. There's a lot of stuff that comes in there. So here's our non-wipe gel top coat. And I'm just gonna be floating that over the top of our Glitz glue gel condensed. So you can see I have a big glob and I'm just spreading that down the nail pretty quickly. You don't really have to use very much pressure. You do just want to slide this right over the top. There we go. And I don't want there to be too much excess. So same thing. I'm going to go right around the sides and swipe down and make sure that any excess I'm actually pulling that off. So now that I've got that done, guys, recapping everything, then I'll go ahead and start placing my crystals while Nancy puts our nail on a nail plate for us. So I really love these shapes together. I think they turn out really cute. And then we'll turn this one this way. There we go. And then I kind of want to do, it? Nancy likes to do this. I like to do it too. Copying Nancy here. And we'll just, Jenny, I want this on my nails. You want this on your nails? Yes. There so that's movie that's coming out this weekend? Yeah, I think it's this weekend. If not this weekend, then next weekend, but I'm pretty sure it's this weekend. You can go another time, Jenny. I know. There was a. I don't know if you guys know this, but when we were doing the live video last live video week, last week, yeah, we were like, oh, we were so excited to go see the Lion King, and then we went and saw it, and this lady sitting next to us the entire time. I swear. I swear she would not stop singing and like I understand if you want to go to the movie theater and you're just trying to like have a good time and we went to a later showing so maybe she thought there wouldn't be too many people there there were a lot of people there I mean it wasn't a crowded movie theater but it doesn't change the fact that like it's not your living room guys come on be courteous of other people at the theater that's the thing is, uh, theater just so rude I mean, Enjoy the movie. I mean, I understand like a little bit of like chitter chatter, like you're sharing with the person next to you. All right. Okay. But having like an entire full on belted out, like sing to yourself in the shower moment, maybe not do that at the theater. Maybe let's save that for when you're at home and the movie has come out already and other people are not there watching it or experiencing it for the first time was just a little rude oh my god this is so cute you guys mm -hmm. i see this i this like cool. this yeah look i'm doing two different styles nancy i never do them Eugenia like this nails by copying you gina nails by gina yeah she came and saw us in gatlinburg nancy oh nice yeah Here, let's put this right at the top it fits around it perfectly See, I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but some of these crystals in our metal frames go together like 100%. Look how cute that is. 
Okay, and then I have a feeling here that we can add little crystals here. And then I'm going to put some metal ball right up in there. And that will give us a cool effect, I think. I don't need to. There we go. Perfect. I like that. That's very cute. Okay, let's do like this too. We'll put them in here. Like this. Just like that. And then we will put two bigger ones right underneath it, I think. Because they fit perfectly with that gold ball. I think that looks really cute. And let's put one right back there. Right there, like that. Oh, this is turning out to be really cool, guys. I love that this antique gold color just really like pops against this orange. And then if you guys have missed any of our video, you can definitely go back on our Facebook page or Nancy's um, YouTube and you'll find all of our videos there so that you guys don't feel like you're missing anything or if you have any questions that I may have already answered with the video, then you can find that there. Oh my God, it's so cute. Okay. I need to add some crystals right there. Let's, if you shake your tray, that'll also sometimes like flip your crystals over. There we go. It was that missing. That is so beautiful, Jenny. You really like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Me too. Just um, lately when a lot of you have been follow us from a day once, we have so many like large collections of all the crystal um, Online, we have almost current up to date, and also the newest one is keep updating it. Also, if you want to see all in person, uh, catch us in one of the shows. The next stop, we will be in Atlanta, uh, Bronner Brothers. I think Bronner Brothers, I think yeah. one of the shows is going to happen in August 17 to August 19. And we will have a booth there so that you can see all the different cools. Um, Jenny doing a mix bags that is changing all the time, which is collectible. So then if you get it, it's like a couple months ago, and then you like the mix bag again, you order it, yours comes completely, completely different. Be, Nancy yeah. doesn't keep any of this stuff the same, guys. She so. changes this stuff out pretty frequently just so that you guys don't have to worry about. Like if you buy one mix bag, you're going to get something completely different the next time. Or if you buy two at the same time, I mean, you may have similar items in there, but there's not mm -hmm. going to be the same amount of either one, and it's going to be different. Like, these two bags may look similar, and these two bags may look similar, but they're not. They're called Venus Mercury, and I think this one is our... This is one of our older mix bags, Nancy. I think this is the Mardi Gras. This is uh, Mardi Gras. Yeah. Yes. And then so they look similar, is... but they're not the same. Yeah. And this one's Mercury. So Mercury, Venus, and then Mardi Gras. We also have Valentine's. This is your Mars. This is, I think, Neptune. Yeah. This is your 4th of July, and this is Jupiter. I like Jupiter, and I really like Neptune, but I think Mercury is one of our most popular. So definitely take a look at everything. And then... Oh, actually, I take that back. Um, I think maybe Mars might be the most popular one because it has all the red and black in it. People mm -hmm. really like the red and black color. That's right. All right, guys. So I think I'm happy with the way that this turned out. I'm just going down the sides to make sure I don't have too much excess. 
and I'm gonna pop this in the lamp for 60 seconds, okay? So after I do that, I'm just gonna go around with my precision pen and make sure everything is locked in place, and then we'll go ahead and move on. So if you guys have any questions, you can always email us at info at glitzaccessoriesandsuch.com. We'll always be there for you to get a hold of. I have been getting some text messages recently about people wanting to do partnerships with us, anything like that. If you do have any questions about that and you don't want to email, you can always call us at 206-771-5086. Or you can shoot us a DM on our Facebook or Instagram um, Glitz accessories and such on both of those. Okay, guys. And then if it, you want to get like immediately to get response back, the best way to do is an email. email. Yep. Info. As info at glitz accessories and such dot yes, com. That's, that's the best one. Get the best yeah. one to get uh, response right back to you. Yeah. Because we may not always be able to answer the phone, but we can always check the email. So, oh my God, I really like, Nancy, I'm doing something different. I don't really do style like this. Looks really good. It looks really good, yeah. Precision I like this. Glue. Here's my precision pen, guys. So with my precision pen, what I'm gonna do here is take my cap off and keep this little red cap. Do not throw it away. Don't toss it to the side. You wanna put it in front of you so that you remember to put it right back on the top because if you don't, you're gonna be just like me and it's gonna spill out all over the table. It may not happen right away, but over time, because gravity does do that. Um, and then I'm just gonna check every little area and make sure that I don't need to add any precision pen. I think maybe right here I'll add a little bit, but really I don't have to add a lot. And I'm just barely squeezing here, guys, okay? Because you just, you want it to come out, but you're not trying to like drown it, okay? And I'll put a little bit here on the edge, just because this is on the edge of the nail and you wanna make sure that that stays nice and secure. Like I said earlier, you can always go over the top of your metal pieces like this, but never go over the top of your crystals. Always stay on the side of your crystals because you really don't want to ruin the shine of your crystal. So I'm gonna go right here at the tip of this just to make sure that this is gonna stay connected there. And then right here at the edge of this little metal and then right on the top of my beads here. And when I go on top, it's because it's gonna melt down the sides without me really covering anything too much, so I don't have to worry about blending my glue gel out. There we go. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I just got over being sick, so excuse me. Jenny doing much better. Yes, past, much past better. Day. She wasn't feeling good. I'm so that was so She's terrible. Doing so much better. I didn't miss live video for you guys. I knew I had to get better before tonight. Yeah, <laughs> guys, remember take good care of yourself because yeah. no one else does. So that's the health that's come true, first. That's true, Nancy. Maybe it's very else true. Can come later. All right, guys. So now I'm going to go ahead and pop this in the lamp, and then I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. That is all that you need to do, but you do need to do it for an entire minute. You wanna make sure your client is also rocking their hands side to side underneath the light. Not like, you know, but just a gentle rocking motion. You just wanna make sure that whatever you've done that's high up is getting underneath there and getting cured. And if you notice, these are my nails that are still on from when we did Gatlinburg, so. <laughs> Please that's excuse awesome. my nails. I was gonna do them Monday, but then I got sick. And guys, I'm gonna be posting all of this on our video, um, on our video, on our Facebook page, Crystal Nail Obsession. So if you guys wanna see or interact with us on pretty much a day-to-day -day basis, you can always get on there and check out what we're doing, what people are posting. Um, everybody shares on there, so it's, a, it's just a fun place to hang out. There's a lot of nail techs on there. Um, I, I have a, chat group with some of my really close friends. We're all nail techs and we that's how we stay in touch with each other. Look how pretty. Okay. Nancy, it turned out so nice. I suit saw Look that, at that too and I said, oh my goodness. It's completely different style than what I normally do, guys. That's why I think Nancy and I are both shocked a little bit. Because <laughs> I, I usually do like a little different than this. 
a bit. I think I got my fingerprint on there. You want to? The... Yeah. Clean that off. I have gel. I have gel on my fingers, so. Oh, I like that. I love them. I like to do the blue, that turquoise. You feel the texture, but you don't catch anything. Yeah, no, you don't catch anything. I don't know. I can't pick. I want both. I love them both. Yeah. On each ring's finger. Yeah, they are. They go really cohesive together too. So even though they're two completely different designs, your client can leave feeling like she has two different hands, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's turned out know, so beautiful. So, the little frames that's add on so much. Depth. They really do. They add a lot of depth to it. So like I said, guys, you're gonna find a lot of stuff like this in your mix bag. Um, I don't think there's quite so many metal frames, but. I mean, even that you can find. We have little pots of our metal frames. You can find all of that stuff on our website, glitzaccessoriesandsuch.com. And then make sure that you're using your Jenny W code because you will be getting 10% off of your entire order if you're using that code. Even if you only buy one mixed bag, you still get 10% off. Okay, guys? Thank you so much. I've had a wonderful live video with you. I'm going to go home and rest up so that tomorrow we can do another really cool live video like this. Maybe I'll switch up the um, color scheme and do some blue nails with like uh, maybe we'll use the Jupiter bag. I think this would also work for the movie pretty well. And I think it'll give it a little bit of a pop. So we'll see. Thank you guys so much for a live video on Thursday. I will see you guys tomorrow around 7 or 8 o'clock. Yep. Bye. We'll see you. Bye.